Now, to couple the body, this is my back and this is the yoke. So I'm simply going to bring the one of the front piece on the back like so, making sure that the armpit area match up. So I'm pre I mean I'm placing wrong side facing wrong side. So I'm going to bring the yoke as well and bring this one now. Now for this, the right side is going to be facing the right side of the front, and I'll see everything together. So you must make sure that the shoulder match up perfectly before you start sewing. So this is why I So once you are done, this is how it should look. So by the time you turn over, you can see it is concealing the shoulder seam. So we have to do the same thing too for the other side, which is this one. Bringing this over too. And bringing this over this way. So if you don't know how to do it, you can just use your um, office pin to hold it down. So the best thing is to start from the neck point here. Then you finish it at the um, armpit area. So you start from the neck point. So this is why I have, I'm going to seal it as well. So once we are done, this is what you should have now. So I'm now going to go ahead and seal this fig, um, on my um, back piece. So this is it. You can see it is concealing all the shoulder seam. That's why it is here. So I'm going to top stitch it now on the back piece. That is why we use the yoke. It is just so that you have um, something to conceal the shoulder seam. So now to get that, I'm going to... You can go ahead, iron it. And if you are not going to do that first, you can just make sure that you place, you use your hand, place it flat and you bend it in like so and top stitch so you open this place up so that you'll be sure that what you are doing is right So I'm now going to go to my paper and do the necessary things. So now, this is why uh, you can see I've matched up um, the armpit area. This is it. Everything is matching up. And at this side, so I've matched up my armpit area. So what I'm simply going to do is use my back measurement as a guideline here. So I'm going to decide if I have to cut off from here or just go ahead with what I have. So here now, I have... Um, almost 19 so which my um, back measurement is um, seven and a half plus one that's eight and a half so eight and a half times two that's 70 so i don't need more than 17 here so i'm going to measure one inch from each side like so and cut it off one inch and i'm going to come here and measure the same one inch By the time I cut it off, I'm going to be having 16, I mean 17 here. So I just have to recheck. So I'm simply going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to come here as well. going to measure it and make sure that I have my 17 so I'm having my 17 here now. so now we can now go ahead and start fixing the sleeve so you have to do what again you have to notch this point notch here and notch here so that we can match it up with the sleeve so to fix the sleeve what I'm going to do is bringing this wrong side to wrong side matching it up like this now if you have um, if you don't want to finish your sleeve like this you could just 
omit this part. Sure you understand. It's not a must that you do it like this. So you could fix it the normal way you know how to fix um, a sleeve. But if you want to know another way you can fix your sleeve, so just watch this. So I'm going to place it, note I'm placing the wrong side, facing wrong side, and I'm going to seal. So what you seal here must not be more than one eighth at most to one quarter. So I'm going to seal it all the way. That's why we often add one inch to the shoulder measurement. So I'm going to keep going. So look at it. When I finish joining the sleeve, it's looking odd because the seam allowance now is outside, which is meant to be inside. So what I'm, what I simply did was, when I after joining the sleeve, I was having up to this, which is up to like one quarter here. This is why I have up to one quarter, not up to half. So all I'm going to do, I've trimmed off this sleeve now. You can see why I have is so little, like one eighth, it's so small. So I'm going to go ahead and. Um, cut of this one too and you have to be mindful of your seam line and also your edge your fabric that's the main fabric so when cutting you have to take it off the way so that you don't mistakenly cut the fabric so you just take it off the way like this and you keep cutting you keep cutting so you can see what i have now so i'm going to go ahead and um, cut the other half so I really do hope this one is recording by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut the excess like so. So this is going to help do the next sewing stitch that we are going to be doing now. So you just have to keep going. So now I've done the same thing for both shoulder. I hope you can see this. So this is just the link to I have. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to simply bring this over like so. That's the sleeve over. So I'm going to be having my wrong side now. So now remember the few seam we left. So I'm going to make sure that I take it to my sewing machine and see it's taking the total of that. So that's why it has to be small, as small as one eighth, because we don't want this place to be too bulky. We don't need it here. So I'm going to bring it to my sewing machine now. So making sure that I'm taking the total of that seam allowance I have left outside. So and I'm going to see it all the way around. So you have to be mindful of the shaping of your sleeve so that you see it right. So I'm going to bring this. So you have to always adjust it with your hand, bringing it this way. And you see. So that's why you have to cut off the excess that may be there. So this one, bring it flat. It's something you have to do slow and steady, no rush. Just go with the flow, slow and steady, no rush. I'm going to keep going. I really do hope you follow this step. It's easy and it make your um, shirt have that ready made look. It may take time, like I think. But it's something worth trying. I'm going to push this one. Forward. Now, the next thing, which is the last thing we are going to be doing at the shoulder area now, is to bring this over to the main body, that's to this part, not on the sleeve. We bring it over and you top stitch it. 
So you can either do it from outside, you can do it from inside. Anyone that works for you, that you know you are going to get it right. In. Now, if you choose to do it from outside, you just have to make sure that you follow that same line. Here you understand. You follow the distance from year to year. Must be the same thing from the beginning to the end. And if you are doing it from outside, anyone that you choose to do. So I'm going to be doing it from inside. So we choose this. So I'm simply going to bring this over. Open this piece off. Because you know it's not a straight um, joining. So definitely it's going to want to like be somehow rumpled with excess fabric at the other night. So you have to open it all through. Then bring this down. Bring it here. So, so just be mindful that you maintain the same same line all the way. And you are seeing it on the body, not on the sleeve. Please. So just keep going. At the inside it's looking neat so this is what you have outside so you can see what we have now i hope you can see the same line it is accurate all the way so that is that for the sleeve i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing too for the second sleeve so maintaining the same line like we did and please when you are working with the second sleeve don't make the mistake of bringing it like this bringing it on the sleeve you have to watch, look at your fabric, make sure you are bringing it over. And the excess should be placed on the shoulder area because that is where you need the seam line. The seam line shouldn't be on the sleeve. If it is on the sleeve, then that is a mistake. You have to loosen it up and um, receive. So I'm going to do the same thing here too. Place this here. I'm going to go ahead and see it all the way. When you are done, this is what you should have. So this is what I have now. You can see this is the inner seam and this is the outer seam. So and this is the seam along the shoulder area. So the same thing that I have here. So the next thing now we are going to do is to fix the side as well. So we can just go ahead and fix the side once and for all. So we are just going to do the side the same way we did um, the um, sleeve. So you can just go ahead, bring this wrong side, facing wrong side, then you seal it all the way down. So maintaining the same. So if you have something like this, look at what I have around my sleeve area. It's like I have excess. So I'm simply going to go ahead and um, place it on each other like so and cut off my excess here. Going to pop it up. So, if you have excess on your sleeve area, don't forget to do what I just did. 